Hi there everyone, Tom Day here. Welcome back to the Default Agent Channel, a channel where I teach agents how to not only get REO listings, but how to service them as well. Today's lesson is all about cash for keys. What's cash for keys? Well, it's essentially relocation assistance for occupants of recently foreclosed on properties, whether they are the, the borrower, which is the former owner, or a tenant. Now, evicting occupants of recently foreclosed on properties is not just a public relations uh, issue for lenders. It also is very expensive and very time consuming. So the lenders are going to offer the occupants of the property um, monetary assistance in helping them transition out of that property and into another one. You as the REO agent are going to act as the go-between between between the asset manager and the occupants. The asset manager will uh, send you an offer to present to the occupants. Um, it will be a, a certain dollar amount and with an expectation of being out of the property, perhaps it's 30 days or 40 days or 60 days. Um, that's up to you to negotiate uh, with the occupants. Now, this is one of those tasks that you're scored on by the asset managers that you're working for. Not only are you scored on things like your accuracy of your BPOs or your uh, timeliness in getting tasks completed, but you're going to be scored on the percentage of cash for keys that you're able to successfully negotiate. So not only uh, will it improve your score with the asset managers, but successfully negotiating cash for keys with the occupants will uh, make less work for you and make a quicker closing down the road. So how it works is the asset manager is going to send you the, the original offer. Uh, it will have a set dollar amount that you can offer to the occupants and a scheduled time frame from which they're supposed to be out of the property. You're going to present it to them and they have the option of either accepting, declining, or perhaps counter offering perhaps for more money or more time or both, but it's up to you to negotiate uh, a, an agreeable cash for keys package. You may run into a property in which you know that it's occupied, but you haven't been able to make contact with the, uh, with the occupants. Um, it's not uncommon for them to avoid you completely. So a, a cash for keys offer posted on the property may work as an incentive for them to reach out and contact you and get the process moving. Uh, if you're directed to do that, make sure that you follow the directions carefully as to how to appropriately post the offer on the property. Different localities may have uh, laws as to how cash for keys can be handled in this case. So be sure to follow the directions you're given very carefully. So anybody who's at least 18 years of age and older is required to sign this document. And the document is going to spell out, like I said, uh, how much they're going to get when they move out, uh, when they're supposed to be moved out, and the remainder of the terms of the agreement. Uh, it's expected that they move all of their personal property, furniture, and trash and vehicles completely off the property. Now, if uh, I know that in my locality, they do bulk trash pickup. Uh, on the curb uh, once a week and sometimes it's uh, twice a month. Um, if, uh, if that's the case, um, it is acceptable most of the time that they leave the trash at the curb. Um, check with your asset manager if you have any questions about that. But uh, on move out day, you're going to schedule a time when you're going to meet with them to hand over the check if they have done as they're required to do and move all of their belongings and trash and whatever out of the property. Uh, you you want to go there equipped with your camera. Um, you're going to want to uh, uh, take time stamped photos of the entire property. You're going to want to make sure that there, there's nothing left on the property because once you hand over that uh, check to them, uh, you're responsible for anything that has been left behind. Now, I've, I've had many instances where I've arrived at the property and uh, there was still trash or furniture left behind. And I had to tell the occupants, I said, I'll come back at the end of the day, but if it's not uh, off the property by then, I can't give you this check. 
and that usually motivates them to get uh, the, the job completed. Um, and then in some cases, I've I've let some things slide and 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 made and and taken it upon myself to get rid of it, um, but only if it uh, wasn't going to cost me very much money. Uh, sometimes the aggravation just isn't worth it. That's your call entirely. How much should, do they usually offer? Well, I think the lowest I've ever seen was around two thousand dollars, and I think I've seen as much as uh, ten, twelve thousand dollars. And I know I, I've heard of uh, other instances where uh, agents were able to offer higher amounts than that. Um, I, in my experience, is not much more than ten or twelve thousand dollars. All right, now this is very important. Until you actually have the cash or keys offer from your asset manager, you don't even want to mention that the possibility even exists, much less a dollar figure. All you're doing is setting up expectations that uh, may not be met. Once you're satisfied that the, the property is empty and at least broom swept clean, they've given you the keys, then you can hand over the check. You're probably going to have to have them sign a receipt that they've received it, and you may even want to take a photo of them holding the check. On that very same day that you're doing the cash for keys exchange, you're probably going to be tasked with having the property uh, secured and rekeyed. So you're going to have to coordinate with a locksmith to be there to do the rekeying. Once that's done, you'll, you'll be putting a lockbox on the property with a combination that's been assigned for that property. Then you're going to report back to the asset manager via the platform that that task is complete. It will probably trigger some more new tasks related to the pre-marketing phase, and I'm going to cover those subjects in future videos. So I suggest you subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. If you're interested in joining my team, uh, there's a link in the description where you can schedule a call with me. We can talk about it. I do one-on-one -on -one mentoring for my team members. That's it, folks. That's Cash for Keys Explained. I'm Tom Day. This is the Default Channel, and I'll see you next time.